How to make the Zoom Earth effect. Today's video is sponsored by Crash Bandicoot. Uh -oh. Go to the Google Earth website. Open the map style menu and select the clean map. Zoom into the location you want. Take a screenshot, zoom out, take one more screenshot, make some more shots while zooming out. Once you get all the screenshots you want, import them in your library. Bring two of your drone shot. One longer and one closer shot. Keep them at the same size, make each one a new fusion clip, and open one of them in the fusion page. Disconnect your clip. Bring the last screenshot you've made. Add a crop node, and check the keep centered box. Arrange the nodes to keep things cleaner. Add a merge node after the crop. Bring your next screenshot, the one that is a bit closer. Copy the crop node and add it after the second screenshot, connect it to the merge as a foreground. Select the merge node, decrease the size, and move it around to match the position. You don't have to make it perfect, because later on we are going to add a heavy motion blur. Connect the merge node to the out point. Add a new merge node, and repeat the same process for each clip you are adding, keep in mind that you don't need to use the crop node in your drone shots. Once you are done, add a transform node in the end of the pipe. Move the pivot point to be in the place where you want to zoom in. Increase the size and you will see this ugly collage. Select your long drone shot, add a polygon mask, and draw a rough shape around the middle, and increase the soft edge slider bravely. For the last drone shot, add a rectangle mask, match it to the size of the clip, and increase the soft edge again. Select the transform node, and increase the size until your last shot is covering the entire frame. In my case 420 works fine. Right click in the size slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the source to duration, the curve to easing, and set the in and out to expo. In the scale value, set it to the amount of scale you need, in my case it was 420. Set the offset to 1, and increase the time scale if you want the zooming in to be faster. Go back to the tools, in the settings tab, check the motion blur box. Increase the shutter angle around 1000, the quality to maximum, and play around with the sliders to find out what works best for you. For the sound, I went to the audio.com website, and got some nice sound effects and song. You can use the code NEW2022 to get 70% discount, link is in the description. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, 